Let's start by meeting Anne. She's a 35-year-old real estate agent who has been married to Dan for 10 years. The couple has two children, Ben, who's five, and Jennifer, who's eight. On the eve of her biggest deal ever, Anne has to get her family to their grandparents' house, which is over two hours away in time for dinner. On the way, she has to go home to pick up their luggage, to a bakery to get the pie she has promised to bake, to the airport to pick up Dan, to her sister's house to get the kids. It's a trip that would have been next to impossible without connected car PC technology. At 3.30 p.m., Anne grabs her briefcase and rushes out the door, calling to her boss over her shoulder. I'll call to check in before 5 o'clock. She gets in her car, takes a deep breath, and starts her engine. Connected car PC technology comes to life. Good afternoon. It is Friday, August 30th. 3.32 p.m. You have one message. Anne calls up her notepad to check her message. Computer, message one. Pick up kids at 5 p.m. Computer, new message. Record your message. Call the office at 4.30 p.m. Message saved. Anne pulls into her garage, throws the family's luggage into the trunk, and is back on the road in under five minutes. She's one block away from the bakery when she gets a funny feeling. Did she leave the garage door open? Are the kids' bikes being stolen this very second? Nervously, she calls up the home security screen. Computer, help menu, security check. Your garage door is open. Would you like it closed? Yes. Garage door secure. She arrives at the bakery. The pie is waiting for her, so she's back in her car in less than a minute. But as she pulls out of the parking lot, she runs over a bottle. Ann sighs and calls up the help menu to request a tow truck. Computer, help menu. Road service. What is the problem? Flat tire. A tow truck has been contacted and will arrive at this location in five minutes. Minutes later, a mechanic arrives and has a spare tire on the car in no time. Only slightly behind schedule, Anne pulls onto the highway. And traffic. Anne does her best to remain calm and tunes into the information screen to find out what's happening on the road up ahead. Computer information. Traffic report. A major accident has stopped all traffic on the highway. Taking an alternate route is recommended. Anne takes the next exit and tries surface streets. To get her mind off the minutes that are quickly ticking by, she checks the weather report to see what to expect during their weekend at the grandparents. With high clouds and warm weather predicted, she smiles. At least something's going right. Amazingly, she gets to the airport on time and pulls up at arrivals just as Dan exits the terminal. She jumps out of the car to kiss her husband hello. When they try to get back in the car, Anne realizes she has locked the car keys in the trunk along with Dan's luggage. She groans and runs to the nearest payphone where she places a call to her car computer. Anne keys in her access passcode. Would you like to disable car? Locate car. Or unlock car. Unlock car. Car unlocked. She rushes back to the car and Dan's sitting in the driver's seat ready to go. As they pull away, 
the message she left for herself an hour ago arrives. You have a message. Call the office at 4.30 p.m. At that moment, Anne gets a call. Incoming phone call. Computer, answer. Hello, Anne. Good news. The buyer's loan came through, so all we need now is his signature on the finalized contract. Great. I'll arrange a meeting with the legal department and get the contract ready. Anne gets to work. First, she checks her date book. Next Tuesday is wide open, so she schedules the meeting for 9 a.m. And then she places a call to her virtual assistant. Hello, this is your virtual assistant. How may I help you? Send message to my assistant. Record message. Please fax me the latest draft of the Jones contract. I'm in my car. Thanks. Message sent. May I assist you further? No. Goodbye. They pull up at her sister's house at just past five. Dan keeps the motor running as Anne hurries in to get the kids. So are you kids ready to go? Oh, Mom. Do we have to? We're watching a movie. You can finish watching it in the car. Anne grabs the CD movie out of the player and rushes the kids out to the car. They get settled in the back seat and insert the movie into the CD drive. The kids put on their headphones and start watching right where they left off. As they pull away, Anne's facts arise from her assistant. You have received the facts. With Anne fully prepared for her meeting on Tuesday, she's finally able to relax. Dan slips in their favorite jazz CD. They make good time and pull into the grandparents' town a little early. Anne decides that there's just enough time to stop and get Grandma a present. Dan, your mom just loves flowers. Anne calls up the navigation screen and locates the nearest florist. Supplied with a map and directions, they arrive at the flower shop without a problem. As Anne runs in to get the flowers, the kids film ends. Daddy, the movie's over. Can we play a game now? Dan decides that there's just enough time for one game, so the kids eject the movie, insert the CD-ROM, and play happily for the rest of the trip. The family pulls up at the grandparents' house at 7.30 right on time. As Dan is taking the keys out of the ignition, an email arrives. You have email. It's a message from Anne's boss. All the hard work she's put into the Jones deal has finally paid off. She's getting a promotion. Dan gives his wife a big hug, and the family enters the house just as the roast chicken comes out of the oven. The many indispensable features of connected car PC technology made a difficult trip manageable. Anne kept the big deal on track, the kids had fun, the family arrived at the grandparents on time, and they were all able to spend a relaxing weekend together. Even mom's berry pie was a hit. <laughs>